Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of my Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier. I've had this bag for a while now. It's one of my oldest bags. I think I've had this for about seven years already. I got this, I think, in 2016 or 2017. This was a gift from my dad. So I've had it for quite a while, but I realized that I actually never made a review video on it yet. I think it's because it's such a classic bag that there are already so many reviews about it that I didn't bother making a review in the past. However, this bag has already been with me for seven years, and I thought that it would make a good video to show like the wear and tear and the overall review of it after seven years. This was my college bag and my gym bag back in the day. So imagine college and now I'm already 30 and I still have this bag. So it's been quite a while with this bag. So if you guys want to see my overall review of this bag and its wear and tear throughout the years, then keep on watching. But before anything else, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm trying to reach 3,000 subscribers by this year. So if these are the types of videos that you like watching, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to connect with me in my socials, it's at Trish DLF. Before I proceed with the video, I want to show you guys these newest pair of slippers sent by Ipanema. As you know, I've been working with them and these are the slippers that they sent for the month of July. So these are called the Ipanema Solar Slide AD in pink. And this is just what they look like. And it's just this pink pair of slides. So these are the slippers and I'll just remove this. The color says pink but it's giving me more of like a red undertone. I think you can categorize this as more of like a dusty pink, like a darker type of pink. Like a very light cherry pink I feel like. So for these solar slides, what I like about them is that they're in the slides type of design. The footbed is your typical flexible and soft Ipanema slipper footbed but the design is more of like a sandal so you can actually wear this both at home and going out. I think you can definitely style up these slides because as you can see it on this front detail there's like more of a matte side and then there's more of like that detailed area which looks kind of bejeweled but in reality this is just like all rubber. I actually have the other pair of slides these ones also from Ipanema and I'm currently wearing them as house slippers they're so comfortable as house slippers especially because they're the slides type but I've also worn this out a lot for vacations especially on the beach they just look really fashionable with your beach outfits. So yeah, these are the Ipanema Solar Slides in pink. They're available for 1,795 pesos on the ipanemaphilippines.com website. So if you are interested in getting a pair, then just log on to the ipanemaphilippines.com website. They usually run a lot of promotions and discounts on there, so you can probably get a lot of good deals if you shop through their website. Thanks to Ipanema for sponsoring this video, and so let's go on to the rest of the video. So the Speedy Bandolier, this is the size 30 in the Dami Ibin print. And as mentioned earlier, I've already had this for about 7 years. Now I'll put this bag to the side first because I actually want to talk about Louis Vuitton and its quality. Because as much as a lot of people are dissing a lot of luxury brands these days, I still believe in Louis Vuitton and its quality and this bag is specific proof of that. I really think that LV still reigns supreme which I will show later on. I still believe that it's in the top three hierarchy of brands along with Chanel and Hermes. I think that these three brands still continue to remain on top and as much as a lot of people diss Louis Vuitton for being so loud, especially in this time where quiet luxury is what's in, people may categorize or see Louis Vuitton as of lower value but I personally think because of my experience with the brand that it's still definitely top tier. So in this video, it's not gonna be like a full review where I talk about all the functions of the bag and like all the pros and cons because I'm sure there are a lot of videos on that already. Instead, I'm going to be talking about things I like about the bag and it's wear and tear and the duration of time that I've had it. So the Speedy Bandolier 30. This was my college bag and I used it a lot for school and also I brought it to the gym a lot back then. When I would go to the gym back in college, this was my gym bag. I actually fell out of love with this bag already, especially since I've added a lot of bags through the years and of course I had to give love to those other bags. So this bag was in the back burner for quite a while but recently, especially this year, I have rediscovered this bag and I've rediscovered my love for it after carrying her again for quite a few times. So I thought that it would be such 
such a good time to do a review on this bag again because my love for it has been rekindled. What I like best about the Speedy Bandolier is the utility aspect of it. I feel like this will always be a classic bag. As much as these bags seem oversaturated, there's a reason why these bags are called classics. They may tend to be passe for a while or overdone, but there's a reason why these bags continue to be categorized as classics, and that's because of their timeless design and silhouette. So there may be times that they're popular, and some periods of time where they would be less popular because the trendy bags would be taking the spotlight. However, despite that, they continue to be loved because of its timelessness. My favorite thing about this bag would probably be the functionality of it because it's not only a regular speedy where you can remove the straps, you can wear it as a top handle bag, and because it's a bandolier, it has the long strap, and I'm sure a lot of people have mentioned this as well in the reviews, but I feel like this bandolier really makes a difference. This long strap is great for crossbody, for a shoulder bag. Because of this long strap, there are many occasions that you can wear this bag to. As I mentioned, I carry this a lot back in college. I brought this to the gym. I also went traveling with it. It's really good for travel as well because you can easily just crossbody this and the bag lays down very nicely because of its soft canvas. It lays down really nicely on your body. So this is actually a very convenient travel bag as well. This is the type of bag that I don't really think about when I'm out. This is a bag that I can just lay anywhere. Whereas of course with my Chanel's, I always have to be careful with them, not to scratch them, or I always have to make sure that they're put in like proper areas, especially the lambskin ones. But this one, because of the canvas, because it's so hard wearing, I don't really have to worry about it anymore. And I just definitely think that this is a fuss-free bag. Also, back to the strap, I mentioned that this is good for crossbody, but it can also be adjusted as well. So if you're the type who prefers like just a shoulder carry bag, you can remove the extension of the strap and it can go as short as this. So if you want to put it as a shoulder bag, you can just carry it like that because it's adjustable. So the shoulder strap length is about this long. So there are definitely many ways and functions that you can wear this bag, which is why I really love it. And then I already mentioned the canvas. The PVC canvas is actually one of the main things that I love about Louis Vuitton because it's just really hard wearing. Especially if you look at the vintage Louis Vuitton bags from back in the day. Their canvas was even thicker than this, hence the vintage ones were even more hard wearing. But even with this newer canvas, the softer version, look at it. Like the canvas is still in perfect condition. No scuffing. Actually, the canvas is really perfect and actually the entire bag is more or less perfect which I'll show later on for the wear and tear. Personally though, with regards to style, like if you ask why do I only have one Louis Vuitton, well two and then the rest are like SLGs, it's because my style doesn't really fit like the Louis Vuitton aesthetic or canvas. My style has always been more of the classic and my general style, like a lot of my clothes really look better with like Chanel bags. That's why I collect more of the Chanel bags. And with the Louis Vuitton, to be honest, I don't really look good with the Louis Vuitton canvas. That's why my Louis Vuitton, like the monogram canvas, I only have it in the Speedy Nano and in the SLGs as well. Because I feel like my face has those very strong features where if I carry like a lot of monogram, it's gonna look fake. Like, I don't know, tell me, there's just something about like what I look like that it doesn't really look good with a monogram canvas bag. That's the reason why I don't really carry a lot of Louis Vuitton or why I don't really buy a lot of Louis Vuitton even if I think that it's really great quality. Because yeah, my face definitely chooses certain things and this monogram canvas design, it doesn't really look good with like my face. Uh, I feel like if I carry a monogram canvas, people are gonna assume that the bag's fake just because of what I look like. It's just something about my face that I notice that, that doesn't look good when carrying like a big monogram canvas. Like imagine a monogram and like a dami ebien. Like, I, there's just something about my face that I feel like it doesn't match. It just doesn't go together, so I don't really buy this. I only buy the monogram canvas and small leather goods. That's why I have, like, the pencil case, I have the mini pochette, because those small items are the best thing that I can get, I feel like, without looking tacky. So they really need to look small for, like, my, fa my facial features, because if not, they look tacky on me. 
that's just me okay like it's different for everyone but on me i noticed that the monogram doesn't really fit my face very well so i went on a tangent there but yeah that's basically why i have this speedy bandolier and the dami ebien if you like a more subtle look although at this point even the dami ebien or the dami azur they're not really subtle anymore but i feel like this is the more subtle of the three canvas versions and at least for me my facial features match the dami ebien like it doesn't look too out there or it doesn't look too tacky when i carry this bag so yeah now that i've mentioned everything that i love and appreciate about the speedy bandolier i will show you guys the wear and tear and i'm already going to tell you as early as now that there is barely any so the main wear just looking at it at a glance i would definitely say that the first is tarnished that's what i noticed and on the leather parts there would be like some whitening on certain areas but the canvas itself it's perfect i would definitely say that yeah, it's a soft canvas, so you can't really say much about the shape. But even the shape, I also generally store my bags very well. So I think that's why the canvas is still in great condition. Like, it didn't get, like, squeezed or, like, deformed. Because usually, like, if people store their bags different or, like, they squeeze it, the leather piping here tends to, like, be deformed. But for mine, as you can see, it's perfect on both sides. Like a perfect shape. I think for the canvas, the only wear I noticed would be near the zipper where there's like some slight wrinkling. And that's from usage over time, like opening and closing the zipper. There would be like some wrinkling already on the canvas. But I would say that it's very, very minimal. I don't think you'll even notice it. Next is on the leather. So I mentioned that there's some whitening on the leather. I've never actually treated the leather parts of this bag because it's in dark brown. I don't really think it needs much treating. But I noticed like on this front handle, it's there's some white spots. Very, very light. I think this is probably because of perfume when I used it a lot before. So there's some white spots there. But again, you can barely see it. And then on this area as well, there's like a small white spot. But that's basically it. Even on the sides, there's no whitening. Yeah, all sides are very clean and smooth. And with regard to the strap, there is no wear as well. Like even the strap isn't wrinkled. And I store this quite a lot. So the strap is actually very smooth, guys. Considering I wore this a lot. Like the glazing as well, no problems. No problems with glazing. Everything is perfect no peeling on anything and even the glazing on both handles as you can see no peeling either because on my key holder the canvas the glazing of that peeled already so it's really nice to see that on this one the handles the glazing hasn't peeled at all for the leather piping everything is intact as you can see no peeling no scuffing no nothing and then where I saw the most wear is on the hardware. So this one is kind of inevitable, especially on gold hardware, especially if it's just electroplated. So on the hardware, there's definitely tarnishing. I see it on the clasp, the hooks over here for the bandolier, it's tarnished tarnish on both sides, although it's I feel like it's very normal. It's not like outrageously tarnished. The straps are actually still very gold, like the strap hooks. But it's the ring that's attached to the bag, that one's the one that's tarnished. The zippers have tarnished as well. But again, that's because of constant opening and closing and the oil on your hands gets on it. So that has tarnished. For the zipper, it's still actually gold. I don't see any fading of the gold for the zipper. And then also for the interior, I'll show you guys. This is the interior. As you can see, it's still very red. Very clean because again, I take very good care of my bags. And yeah, this is the pocket. And everything is in like really, really great shape. So that's about all my seven year review of the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier. As you can see, this bag has held up pretty well, which is why I think it is still the OG. And I feel like Louis Vuitton still really reigns supreme, especially its canvas. And no matter its competitors like Goyard and other canvas tote bags, I think that Louis Vuitton canvas is still like the queen or king of them all. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button down below to help the YouTube algorithm. 
I'm trying to reach 3,000 subscribers by this year, so if these are the types of videos that you like watching, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to connect with me on my socials, it's at TrishDLF. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye! Thank you.